the Compact Presario V4000 AP, which I think was from around 2005. Anyway, it used to have Windows XP on it, but that was extremely slow. And now, I tried to put Windows 95 on there, and it did work, but it had low graphics and didn't have any sound and all that. And then, after trying to get the USBs to work, they just wouldn't work. Even the floppy drive here would not work old floppy disks, but that was only in Windows. Worked with other things, but surprisingly the CD drive works. Not sure why, but anyway, let's have a look at it. And right now, I've put Windows 2000 Advanced Server on. And the reason I put that on a laptop is because, well, the, out of Windows 2000, the servers have more features, and well, they don't technically have to run as a whole server with the main controller and that, but you can host websites on it and everything still. So I've only just installed this tonight. Let's have a look at it. So it's just asking between Windows 95 and Windows 2000. That's the splash screen. Now it's on to the login. So as you can see it's just loading up like playing Windows 2000. I've put Service Pack 4 on there and installed all the drivers for the laptop on there. But unfortunately Windows 2K doesn't actually natively support wireless security, let alone wireless. And I couldn't find any programs. If you could suggest some, that would be good because I have to go down to another room just to plug it in, whereas my desktop computer just has was. And so let's go back to the zoom in. Put it there. So you probably can't see very well, but I got my documents up here. Computer, network places, recycle bin, Internet Explorer 5, and Firefox 8. Because apparently Firefox still works, but Google Chrome doesn't. And on the side here, I've got my Microsoft Office shortcut bar. Since I had Microsoft Windows 95 on there before, I decided to install Microsoft Office 95. Surface. Oh, and you'll see Microsoft Word. your 2010 and 2007 version, which in the end sees that Microsoft Office hasn't really changed that much since well, 1995. It's only had more advanced features with pictures and that, and more integration. Now this one had quite good integration, 
but this had more than a word perfect, which was the previous typing software. And like Windows 2000 server, this will have all the options. Oops, can't go that far. The options for the server. Click all these. Which is pretty much just a bonus to what you would get on Windows 2000 Professional. The Windows Media Encoder is sold. I think it's for version 7. I haven't actually looked at it yet. Oh. Except Windows Media Player is the old one. Only because it doesn't even have Internet Explorer 6 on here yet. If you find a file or something. search. So if we go to documents. Oh. And then this is the Microsoft sounds. Also it comes with passports, which is in the media file. has a pretty cool baseline there. And I use the synthesizers and all that. So it doesn't come with much. I've installed WinRAR to, like, to archives in there. Startup. Let's do a shortcut bar and sound max for the audio. Microsoft Reference comes with Office, like Microsoft Bookshop 95, you won't see that anymore. Accessories, Microsoft Script Debugger, I think that just comes with the advanced server, or you can install it manually. And your good old fashioned command prompt is still on there. You can do your things. MIC Drive isn't a very big, it's even got MS-DOS editor still. Unlike any newer versions of Windows, this actually will load the floppy, but this is what I just put in this blank floppy disk. So it's probably the last Windows version to have good floppy reliability. So in the end, if I clicked that on the XP, that would never do it that fast. It would take, take a minute or so for a start menu to come up. And well, that is Microsoft Windows 2000 Advanced Server on a Compact Presario V4000. And I guess that's all for today. This is Bill95 Daily. I'm Liam Gooley. Good night, everyone. Oh. And just before I go, I'd just like to apologize for yesterday, I didn't upload anything, but well, that's happened twice now. But the least I can do is upload something every two days, but hopefully I can get it every day. And if you're noticing something about Crowley's Corner daily, which is usually uploaded along with this, Due to copyright problems, I'm going to have to put it on our other channel, the D95 Project, which is in the description, along with the today's video URL. I'll also add the video URL for Crowell's Corner Daily in the description of D95 Daily, which at the moment we will have Crowell's Corner on Fridays still. On the 95, but the Assassin's Creed Revelations walkthrough will be on the other channel with the link on this video and every other following video. Anyway, yeah, I 
showed you those 2000 events so far, and today is the 21st of November 2011. See you everyone!